questions? Do you have any development in, the, in your letter to spread regarding the water tariffs? No, none yet. We have written in, but we have not got any reply yet. So we have not actually implemented the proposed tariff hike. So you know that uh, El Nino is here, and we have seen some reports that there are maybe water disruption and rationing in Sango because of the low water levels. I saw a news alert. Don't go call the camera. Don't go call you. You are in Indiana, and you either alert or not. You come away. You have to answer. You have to answer. You have to answer.
because you know how long will El Nino last? So this is a very challenging task, and uh, you know ensuring that there's no water rationing is in the minds of all the senior management day in day out. The mid water supply can be trapped until at least the end of this year. Yes. I think we are looking at it on a month by month basis. Because the LD know is uh, so, so far we are okay. And we expect uh, unless things worsen, uh, suddenly there's not a single drop, uh, well, then you really stress our debts. So you're warning that AIDS will roll in uh, PBA still stand? Uh, oh, yes. I repeated that in the ADM meeting just now. I said we have done everything that uh, PBA asks us to do. We, 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 we ask them, okay, to make sure there's no water rationing. That is our number, number one priority. Tell us what we need to do. And they told us what we need to do. And we have meetings. In ESCO meetings, we're having, uh, we're calling the PBA every time to give a report to our weekly ESCO meeting. And how and whether we have enough water to ensure that the paddy paddy season, season can continue. And so far, I think it is okay. But, uh, yeah, sorry, just let me see. But uh, uh, since we have asked PBA to uh, uh, to tell us what they wanted to do and we have done them, they must also deliver on their part in water rationing. So water rationing is out of the equation. And if we are forced to do water rationing, as I said earlier, and I still repeat that today, take the road. Okay? This one, the water, the coffee maker is sharing. <laughs> Not hate slowly. Yes, go ahead. Just ask Mr. Justin how he feels about the warning about hate slowly. Because sometimes can't really foresee. What's your name? Susan. <laughs> Susan. Okay, I know Susan. Okay, this is the challenge that the chairman has given us. So, what we have informed the chairman and the board PBA, we plan for no rationing. Okay, so when we plan for no rationing, so we will consider every aspect in water demand management and water supply management. So you can see from our statement uh, there are two sides to managing water. One is the supply and one is the demand management. The supply side is to make sure you have enough raw water. Okay, so we communicate to the state how to ensure to get more raw water, whether it's from an existing source or to identify a future source. Because this El Nino is not going to come just once, it's going to come repeatedly in the future. And we all know Penang is a water traffic. So the raw water management, finding new sources of water and finding new ways of treating water. For instance, if there is not enough future raw water, then we also inform the state we should be looking at desalination because Penang is surrounded by seawater. So, so the journey is very similar to Singapore, which is also a water stress country. Yeah? Now, on the demand side, so on the demand side, we have uh, advised the state we have to review the tariff in order to educate the public to value water, to use water wisely. So the state has agreed, although it is a very unpopular decision. You can see how people have reacted. And the next one is we educate the public. Okay? Then we will continue to educate the public to reduce their consumption. Actually, United Nations have said that you can enjoy good quality life with 100 liters per day. Now, Penang people are using three times that. So we are trying to educate the Penang public to reduce from 311 to 100. But it will take time. Yeah? Okay. So that is on demand management. Okay. So the fastest way to manage demand, it has been proven, as in Singapore, 
where the water rate is 11 times Penang. But their consumption is 152. It is a proven fact. But here, we have to do it slowly because you know there is resistance when you want to review water tariff. So we have to do it slowly. Okay? Please, and one question. Since uh, CM talked about any uh, decrease in water consumption? Uh, there, was it effective? No, we have not implemented yet. Yeah, but so we still have to wait. Uh, uh, wait for, we wait for approval and for implementation. I think uh, we hope to see some results later. I think we wait for 3.11. So you just wait and see. Actually, I just want to stress that uh, uh, you know, we, we, I'm not as ambitious as just need to reduce it to 100. If we can go back to 212, I'm happy with it. So I'm not even looking at below 200. No, the United Nations recommend 100 per capita per liter per day. Uh, but I'm looking only at 212. Go to the national average. So you can imagine how bad uh, our water usage is. In the sense that we are 50% higher than the national average. And I think that is why, uh, the reason because of this is tariffs. You know, our tariffs is 32 cents after the increase. Now it's 31 cents. Before it reached 31 cents, Johor is one ringgit and five cents. Three times ours, more than three times ours. So that's why we are higher. So we have to accept, I mean, the people who are complaining, we have been using water like that for the last 30 years, man. For the last 40 years. But how many more 40 years will you have man, if you continue to waste water like this? So we, can, we have to change, we have to save water. We cannot be keep on treating water as something that we take for granted. So that's why we hope that uh, this will at least help in the nights to slightly alter, not completely change the habit, but slightly alter the habits. Save water a little bit more. Use water a little bit less. And uh, we feel that uh, this is a first step uh, towards, as I said, water conservation. Uh, it is not going to be easy, uh, but when you talk about water supply, management and water demand management. We have done our part in water supply management and in this regard, we are even suggesting uh, crop seeding uh, just to ensure that we are able to re overcome the effects of our So We are going to, uh, to request that the federal government does some crop seed seeding, especially in the uh, water catchment areas. Okay, this is for water supply management. So water demand management, the, the, we also seek the indulgence and the cooperation of the public to cut the water. Not sustainable to continue like this. Not sustainable whatsoever. I know I'm, we are criticised by NGOs for not being brave enough. They say your water tariff is so low, my I shall not increase. Huh? No difference. I know we, we accept that criticism with an open heart. But I say let us try with this increase first and see whether there's a reduction. And we hope that this will uh, we'll, we'll get a positive response from the public. Even though some say it's too low, we believe that th there can be a positive response from the public to prove that, uh, that uh, they look at the problem now seriously, they are willing to reduce their water usage. Okay. Any other questions? What are the current uh, levels of the tanks? What is the they're quite healthy. Uh. Uh, yeah, uh, ask the Jasini to give them they're quite healthy. Can you hear me? This uh, item there is at a very healthy level of 87.6%. We normally don't like to talk about levels uh, because we learn from the Malacca days, you don't talk about levels, you talk about effective capacity. So the effective capacity is 87.6. So it can last us 86 days. Okay? Now, Teluk Bahan Dam is at 54.2%. But this is a much bigger dam than Aitam. And it can last 165 days. Yeah? And I think you all know Manpuan Dam is not a, a, a capacity that we want to consider because we have uh, uh, reduced it at the request of the ministry who is upgrading the dam. But still, uh, expanding the dam. The supply duration we have there is 58 days. And lastly, the most important is our Sumer Muda level. 
this morning is at 2.29 meters, which is above the 2 meter alert level. Okay? So if we want to uh, manage the El Nino, uh, just now uh, the chairman has mentioned that uh, we want to request cloud seeding. The most important is cloud seeding in Ulu Muda catchment. Because why? Sumer Muda supplies more than 80% of Penang's water supply. Okay? So the seeding must be done at Ulu Buddha catchment. And I think Mada is also requesting. So so uh, they should do it. Lah. Because if not, then the whole season of uh, Bedi eh, will be uh, disrupted. Okay? Thank you. Bengkuang is 35% effective capacity. So that one is deliberately reduced. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah. It must be reduced so that you can expect. It's deliberately reduced. So that, so that there's no uh, water will not disrupt the suspension works. Any other questions? Okay, any other questions? <coughs> no. Not yet. Can I just uh, add that our allowances have never been increased? It remains the same. Before 208 and after 208 remains the same. No increase. Thank you. Same. Is there water pressure reduced now? No, is it normal? Because compared to the earlier, I think the pressure is now lower. You are talking at what time? Normally, in the past two days. So, normally, uh, you see, uh, when during a very hot season, I think now it's a very hot season, so do, during a certain hours, people use more water. So, it is a natural uh, in a relationship. When people use more water, there will be a slight drop in water. But we monitor it, you know? Okay? But we, we, we cannot produce too much more water because at the same time we have to protect our dam level. But we make sure that the pressure is at the minimum pressure that is required by us, which under the law is 10 meter heat. Okay?